The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter really where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we had a uh, pretty big rally today, up 70 points on the S&P cash. And, of course, uh, a few things going on behind the scenes on that. Um, wanted to talk about a few of these. What? Yeah, that's never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that sure probably should have been at the top, and that's never mind, which uh, all I could think of uh, is uh, Fauci backpedaled all over himself. Uh, maybe the uh, the cataclysmic uh, end of the world apocalypse that I said last week. Uh, data, actual real data, not what I was uh, thinking was going to happen. Maybe it's not as bad as I said. So uh, Roseanne, Rosanna Dana comes out again with a big, never mind. So we've uh, got a nice pop. The S&P really bottomed on Friday. Uh, the NASDAQ... Uh, pretty much today. It was going to be a quick market uh, on the turn. I didn't know where it was going to be from Monday into Wednesday, but uh, up 170 points on the NASDAQ, probably still going to get some consolidation. I don't think that this is uh, going to just take off to the races. I think we could see a uh, minor pullback into Wednesday when we go delta neutral. Uh, but certainly it is a market that looks uh, like uh, sector rotation is uh, the uh, watchword of the day. And that is out of uh, the higher PEs and into the lower PEs. Give me a call today at 877-927-6648. And, of course, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com and put a message in the den if there's something you want to look at. Uh, a couple of the things I wanted to get to today, had some questions uh, about what pipe deals are, so we'll talk about those. Uh, NVIDIA's call to arms, in fact, let's uh, just start bringing some charts up here as we speak. Uh, come on, come on, there we go. Uh, I had some questions about uh, NVDA uh, and whether or not this was really a big deal that we saw a couple of weeks ago. I think uh, everybody kind of knows that this deal was in trouble for six months. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I didn't think it was as big a deal as most people thought. Uh, NVIDIA down to 280.38, uh, a little above 300 as we speak. Um, in fact, let's get that exactly. I'll take a look, NVDA. 299. Okay, 299.78. I'm not surprised that we're at here at these levels, but certainly uh, they were doing everything they could last week and had willing participants and fellow travelers trying to crush the market. Part of that probably tech, uh, tech, uh, can't even do it, tech selling uh, and tax selling for both. But uh, part of that was trying to get out of these uh, super high fast uh, runners on the thought that uh, the end is nigh. Uh, but, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff just kind of continues on. So uh, on NVIDIA, is uh, this a big deal? Well, it certainly would be nice for NVIDIA to pick up arms. Is it the end of the world if they do not know? Uh, what's behind it? Uh, every other company in the world looks to arms for designs, and uh, especially Apple probably leading the charge. It doesn't want to see anybody else in the food chain that they can't bully. And uh, yeah, it reminds me of a, somebody I was talking to over the weekend that knew the uh, Kumo brothers. He says, uh, you know what? He says, I knew their dad. And I need both sons. 
I was talking to somebody from New York, and they said, you know what? Everybody was waiting for the day that they could all go after him because they were nothing but bullies all the time. I just thought that was interesting. He says, the old man, he was a prince, always treated us fine, great, was a great guy. The, the uh, two sons, though, always ran around like mobsters trying to prove something. And uh, he says, uh, you think a lot of this stuff uh, has just come along in the next couple of years? There have been people out after their uh, and willing to go after them. He says, uh, lesson, don't be a bully. You'll need somebody someday, and they will not be there for you. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Uh, anyway, on NVIDIA, don't think that there's a whole lot going on uh, out here that, you know, that if you close at 300, all this did is make some topping sound. I know everybody talks about the huge PE. This is a company that can sell today. And every day, four times what it can make. So I don't know uh, why you want to think that the end is nigh for a company that literally doesn't have a problem with demand, only with production. And it's not like they're screwing up and can't make anything. Um, them and AMD both get kind of getting hit today. Uh, again, um, a lot of discussion about outperformers in the market. Uh, AMD over the last couple of days, not really much of a different chart uh, from these guys. I think that uh, they can continue to move on and higher when we look at the, the leaders. But you probably have a fairly good uh, piercing of the lows. It's probably going to be on significantly lighter volume. And we're going into the time where it's seasonally good to be long. Um, Again, probably uh, eight-tenths of what you probably thought we were going to get between now and Christmas happened today. And that's never a good sign. We've gone from one exhaustion uh, selling climax to one uh, exhaustion buying climax to one exhaustion selling climax to one exhaustion buying climax again today. So, you know what? you got a lot of going on. Uh, okay. Okay. Someone just posted something in the den. I thought I'd read it. Anyway, 4609 on the S&P cash is the last tick I show. Uh, I had some other questions. Anyway, first of all, AMD. What else did we have here? I want to uh, Taiwan Semi in this uh, in the uh, tech sector. Oh, we're almost running out of time. Um, going to three nanometer technology. I think that was on Friday. I just didn't get to it. Um, of course, this is all about what they can build for everybody else. So it gets better. But uh, they're starting the three nanometer technology. That doesn't mean transistors are three nanometers from each other. They kind of uh, build them like Lego. And if you just took uh, one brick and moved it one to the side, it's uh, kind of like that. They're building them up uh, 3D. And all you need to do is offset them a little bit. And they've got that down to three nanometers. But that means they're building them like apartments. If we come back, we'll get through the rest of the news. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, eh, let's do a little history. I don't have a slide for it today, but uh, why don't we just do that and I'll get back to my rant. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day, on December 6th, 1884, workers placed a nine-inch aluminum pyramid atop of the Tower of White Marble, completing the construction of the Washington Monument. Most people do not know aluminum was uh, uh, worth uh, maybe 50 to 100 times what gold was in 1884. They'd figure out how to actually uh, smelt it and get it all taken care of in the next 25 years by a uh, process. I can't remember the guy's name right now. Pretty famous uh, for coming up with a process on making aluminum cheaper than steel now. Uh, but uh, that was it. Anyway, as early as 1783, the uh, infant U.S. Congress decided a statue of uh, George Washington, the great Revolutionary War general, should be placed near the uh, new congressional building. What most people don't know is George Washington, up uh, to the time of the Civil War, um, was uh, handed every filthy, dirty job that was going to be a loser. Uh, most people didn't think much of him at the time. And uh, since he was one of the few to actually wanting uh, to uh, go show what he could actually do, uh, probably uh, if he wouldn't have done that, it's not like they would have uh, pushed him into a position of that power. But uh, yeah, there's more than a little bit uh, to say that uh, up to that point, uh, Let's we'll say 1774, 75-ish. Uh, not a lot of people thought a lot about him, but uh, he decided to fight and fight on. And uh, now he has a very giant symbol of himself uh, right there on the Capitol Mall. Okay. Let's get back to stuff already in progress over most of TFNN. 4608, as I said, uh, probably another uh, buying climax uh, coming out today, at least in the S&P. Got a little more room to run, probably in the NASDAQ. 
Uh, but uh, eh, is that the end of it? Probably no. Uh, you know, you get a big earthquake like we've had over the last week, 10 days. There's going to be some aftershocks. They'll be, they won't be as strong. But any of the stocks that are weak will probably be most susceptible uh, to that kind of action. So you don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, Taiwan Semi, uh, keep an eye on that one. Um, NVIDIA calls to arms. Yeah, that deal's probably not going to go through. Uh, we talked about uh, Fauci kind of walking back. As I said last week, I thought uh, what we would find out would certainly be that uh, uh, it was a uh, producer's, kind of the Zero Mostel version of that movie, not the one, although it wasn't bad. I thought the Zero Mostel and Gene Wilder version much better. If you're unfamiliar with the movie, uh, some unscrupulous folks decide to uh, make a lot of money by uh, selling a thousand percent of a play trying to make the play the worst play in the world that they could and having it become a uh, resounding success only to have uh, uh, all 10 investors who all think that they own the play show up and want some cash. Uh, of course, they end up in the hooskow for that. But, uh, yeah, you never know what's going to happen when you try to uh, overemphasize something and then back over it. But, uh, yeah, a big uh, Roseanne, Rosanna Dana. Never mind to the Fauci. Uh, so what else do we have uh, going on here that I wanted to talk about? That's kind of the beginning of it. Oh, I um, had a bunch of questions about uh, pipes. Uh, these are private investment and public equity deals. Uh, two reasons uh, for them to be in the news today. Uh, DWAC, uh, the digital acquisition company, uh, got a billion dollars in a pipe deal. That is private investment in public equity. They call these things pipes. Generally, what you want to do in these is really look close at the uh, fine print in these if you're thinking about investing. I would say three-fourths of these are done with some kind of back-end agreement, and that is that you can't sell the stock for a year or two years or something. And for for that, you get a special deal. Well, uh, DWAC, which is down uh, two and a quarter percent, I think it was down, what was the low of the day here? Let me take a look real quick. 41.26, but it had been as high as 48 or 49 pre-market. Let's pull a chart up of it here. DWAC. Uh, and, eh, doesn't, you know, really don't see it because of the pre market thing, but, eh, you get kind of an idea of what was going on here. Uh, it, like I said, it started off fairly high. People started looking into it. You have to really find out whether or not those folks can sell right away. Because if you bought on 75 cents on the dollar, yeah, you're still probably, you know, probably doing fairly good. Uh, the reason I bring that up is that a lot of times people will either forget or the companies will not say, and you end up uh, on the other side of it. Uh, one of those examples today is ARQQ. Um, I tried to, to get an answer on the on this uh, same pipe deal along with uh, when they were going to have their earnings. I'd never been able to get anything. Um, I didn't mind day trading it, but I wasn't going to put it in my newsletter again. Uh, it had been a big winner, uh, and uh, you hit uh, 2870 today. The question is, uh, you know, you got to wait now a little while and see how it settles out. But generally, uh, if the problem is, do you know for a fact that those folks can't sell? Because if they double their money in a week, they're going to sell. They're not dummies. These guys had a big pile of cash. They decided to throw it at somebody without margin. And it may be a great company still. But in the short term, you have to worry about those shares coming back on the market. So, uh, da -da -da -da. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Email me 
at path at tfnn.com. Uh, another question from a subscriber. He said, uh, you thought going short uh, the UVYX uh, was the thing to do. Um, UVYX before the bell on Friday. Oop, let me type it in there correctly. Uh, UVXY, he said. Uh, kind of a nice reversal off of uh, Friday's uh, spike. Uh, where I, he said, yeah, I thought it was either Friday or, uh, uh, generally I don't, uh, put these in the newsletter other than the fact that I'm going after these because, uh, you know, you're not going to know within 30 minutes. I, uh, but yeah, I would out now. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, Tesla... I have a question about that. Um, is the first leg down probably done for the end of the year? Probably fairly close. 20% haircut off of, actually 25, off of uh, 143.49. Do I still suspect uh, that it's going lower? And over time, the answer is yes. Um, along with uh, Eric's uh, question about the um, article this morning about uh, 
about uh, hydrogen power and Musk discounting it. You know, if you're trying to uh, become the de facto leader of a technology, you pretty much poo-poo everything else. But uh, yeah, that was very interesting. And uh, as we talked before, um, very uh, interesting to see the second generation of Toyota's hydrogen-powered cars. I think that is going to be the long-term solution over batteries. You know, maybe someone comes up with some kind of magical thing, uh, but, uh, you know, the uh, even if they don't catch fire, even if they eventually become recyclable, which they are not now. In fact, I was talking to, I'm uh, emailing somebody on YouTube, emailing them, I aming them, or not, not actually I am. It was in a thought thing, but I had this real Tesla fanboy. And he said, uh, well, you know, you're just a, it's a full cells. Uh. Well, there's always that weight to uh, weight to horsepower thing on motorcycles. Uh, every eight pounds is a, on racing motorcycles. Every eight pounds is worth a horsepower. It used to be. It's probably every pound's probably worth 10 horsepower now with bigger engines and putting out power. But that's what it used to be 20 years ago. Uh, that's the same thing. And I was debating whether there was 2,000 pounds of batteries or 1,500 pounds of batteries or 1,000 pounds of batteries. And basically, this guy was trying to run some jive on me about the shortest distance that a Tesla could go uh, on the smallest batteries and then telling me about his uh, one that could go much farther, but it had 2,000 pounds of batteries. And of course, uh, I said, well, the problem is that the batteries, uh, 20 pounds of hydrogen is worth about 2,000 pounds of batteries. Uh, but I think part of the article that came out this morning was about BMW getting into this space uh, and having a whole bunch of uh, i5s out driving with hydrogen power. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've got some electric versions of those. Um, in fact, you can probably go catch some hybrid versions of them, but they don't drive very well. Um, you know, you don't buy sports cars that have huge amounts of, of uh, power. So you got 400 pounds of an engine, maybe 425. You got uh, maybe 250 pounds of, uh, of uh, fuel cells. So they're actually handled a little bit better. And, you know, they talk a great deal about uh, Tesla's uh, out at the drag strip and all that. And that's great, but you may not have enough electricity to go home because you use that up real quick. And it's not like you can charge the battery in five minutes where you can charge up fully in hydrogen powered cars. I think eventually, like a lot of technologies, the electric part, I don't have a problem with. It's the battery part, which has not been fixed yet. And fuel cells, oh, I mean, to Toyota's got 25 years with them. Uh, Panasonic has about the same. And they've been used for a very long time in industry in Japan. Uh, they're very conscious of uh, the environment over there. And I think that that is something that could move uh, very on. But anyway, um, Version two of the fuel cells out from Toyota uh, brings the range to about 650 miles. In fact, they drove one over 800 miles on a single tank. And when they came back to charge up, it took five minutes to fill. But uh, I continue to think uh, that there's a problem uh, eventually that everybody's just going to recognize, which is that uh, batteries in this technology are going to catch on fire. You can mitigate some of the risks. The problem is not that they catch on fire. The problem is you can't put them out. The lithium ion batteries are going to burn until they burn out. You can throw all the water and foam on them you want. They just not are going away. Uh, hydrogen has a much better idea for being able to degas uh, the hydrogen if uh, there's a problem in an accident or something like that. But at the same time, you're really talking about loose fittings and hydrogen you're probably going to get some warnings and some other stuff on it saying, hey, you got a leak. But uh, I wouldn't be uh, real worried to put a hydrogen car in my garage. But uh, Tesla, it's sitting in the street, partner. If that thing catches fire, I do not want to be underneath it uh, and sitting it over it in the master bedroom. 877-927-6648. And 
anyway, that was the one problem. The other question is, how far do you think this issue with Tesla goes uh, for the uh, SEC and the FTC going after them about uh, the uh, uh, solar uh, tiles that never, ever became something, as everybody knew they wouldn't? Um, the easiest thing to know is if you can't aim uh, your uh, solar cell at the sun and track it during the day, you're giving up at least 50 to 60 percent of the power that a solar cell could actually get. So, you know, you've got to pretty much always be aiming those things. They make a lot more sense uh, in a big park of these things with people maintaining them and doing things, putting them on your house. Uh, a poor value and generally the only way it makes economic sense is making uh, fellow taxpayers uh, pay for your pipe dream, which I don't think it, you know, they're, they're just not economical yet, which is the, like a lot of technologies. There's early adopters. They help out. But uh, I see no reason why a trillion dollar company like Tesla uh, needs subsidies to sell their cars if they're that great. They don't. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, uh, and other just ludicrous things like uh, uh, like Rivian's uh, um, valuation, stuff like that. They're just nuts. In the reality, um, Rivian probably had the best new design take on a lot of stuff. Uh, the Ford F-150, I think the uh, CEO on Friday said that he would be number two and probably number one within a year, year and a half uh, of EV sales on uh, the pre-orders on the F-150 already. Uh, down at 18.61 on Ford, uh, back into the trading range today. So again, pretty much just there. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Question on uh, NFLX. What do we think of it here now? Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. We'll uh, go through the uh, FANG stocks. We'll see. Uh, light volume bounce inside Friday's move. Uh, a lot of articles uh, in uh, Friday. Uh, about these uh, streamers. Look back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, I'll get back to uh, the rest of those in a second. Someone brought something up in the den, uh, which was uh, short selling. And I did have to, uh, one of the reasons why I was pretty sure that we had a low in the S&P, but not quite in the uh, NASDAQ, was the put call ratio uh, in the VIX and in the equities themselves. It's been a long time since people really started buying puts uh, on either side. But, you know, occasionally everybody winds up and thinks they're going to hit the big home run with an out of the money call or put. Uh, in the S&P 500 stocks. Uh, but the VIX is nothing. But the premiums on the put and call sides that are out of the money. Uh, so it, it's nothing that's in the money. It's only that's out to take a look at it. Uh, so when you look at the VIX, that's what it is. It's the people thinking that there's a home run out there to one side or the other. And generally when that happens, and when everybody starts thinking that way, you're ready for it. Now, one of the things that hasn't happened for a while, and you can see on my chart that I'm showing here, uh, I've down at the bottom, I've got a blue line, and I've got the kind of the red line. The red line's the VIX put call. That tends to be rather manic depressive. Uh, there, it does tend to be uh, kind of a little bit less of that in the overall uh, equities, total equities in the S&P 500. Uh, but uh, we got up fairly good, 36, 37% which is historically, you know, you've gone back to other times. But when you look at this, almost every time, especially the big time back here um, a year ago in, uh, well, almost a year ago in January, and you see these big spikes, especially uh, in the equities where uh, people even at the thinking that uh, they want to buy some in the money uh, downside protection back there. What is that? Yeah. Uh, what is that? January I'm going to say January 17th. Um, you get the, you know, you get a little sell-off. Everybody gets bearish, and everything goes back to uh, going on the way it was. But um, you had a big spike in the VIX. You had a big, uh, you know, it doesn't look that big, but it's actually fairly large historically. Uh, we're actually almost at 40 percent, which was the long-term uh, equity over the last year. Uh, for equity put calls. So everybody's been buying calls. Uh, we haven't really been over 50%. Now, I would also say that I do my percentages, and we talked about this a little bit more uh, on Friday, and that is that I don't look at put call ratios going over 100%. Uh, and you should take the total amount of puts and calls and figure out what the percentage is from there and I think that makes people a little less uh, reactive uh, to the swings in those. But it's kind of easy to let those things, people hear, 180% uh, put call ratio. Da, da, da. Well, there's not really over 100% of anything. But I, you know, I understand the way that they're doing the math. But I would, I would say that you don't want to see over 100% of anything in that put call, lest it gets you a little bit too steamed. But uh, even 60% uh, on Friday gives you a good indication 
of uh, the put side of the out of the monies uh, for that. Anyway, um, as I said earlier, uh, thinking that we probably had some kind of buying climax here today and looking for si sideways action in uh, the market till uh, Wednesday, which is uh, which is a delta neutral day for uh, options expiration on uh, the 17th. Uh, anyway, back to uh, Netflix. Oh, and I had another question I was going to answer to someone asked me because it actually has changed and it is a lot easier to look at today. Uh, da, 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 if I can find it, because I think I can. Uh, da, da, da. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Um, they were asking about what I look at from uh, FINRA on the uh, long and short data. Um, FINRA has finally added and done it right, where you can actually just look at the uh, uh, national market system. Uh, actually, it's called the consolidated national market system, and look at that number uh, and um, see what the shorts were for a particular day. In the case of Apple, uh, I've got Apple and IBM up here. But what you're really looking at, um, and you can go back and see what I'm talking about. If you want to uh, look at the YouTube thing, just look at here what it's uh, 47 after the hour. Uh, but you've got the numbers. You can look. You had to, you used to have to take three or four different files and put them all together. If you want to now, all you have to do is download the file at the end of the day from FINRA. And uh, I'll send you the uh, link if you want to. Just email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, but uh, go to that web page, download it each day, do a search, find for the symbol, and find the N, -N well, you want the NM, uh, N, I can't even say it. You want the CNMS, which is the Consolidated National uh, Market System Total. Uh, for shorts, and you'll see it in there. It was 25 million, but you can look at that. That's the total number now. You don't have to do any magical uh, thinking on it. Um, it's not easy. I I will con uh, continue to download these and have my own things in the newsletter every day because it's you know if you're looking for one, not a big deal. If you're actually scanning for high shorts and lows like I do every day, it's different. But uh, a good uh, thing has gotten better uh, with being more accessible uh, from FINRA's data. Uh, okay. Okay. 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, back to Netflix. Uh, got a, uh, yeah, got about a minute and a half. A um, lot of articles about uh, um the uh, incredible inflation in movie production costs uh, from a variety of sources, but it's sound stages uh, that are uh, becoming a real problem and the bottleneck uh, for Disney, Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime. Um, literally, they don't have enough sound stages for people to do work inside, and it's become rather a uh, problem to get uh, places to film uh, office si insides uh, and a lot of people are trying to uh, overdo uh, old dilapidated, uh, dilapidated uh, warehouses that kind of stuff but uh, the uh, throttling behavior on Netflix and Amazon Prime to a lesser extent they don't make that much money on it uh, and Disney which I think has set its future on streaming for the way it's going to make money uh, is uh, running into production problems. Um, and I think maybe over the last week that may be a little bit of selling from the market, uh, but um, not a lot of good news in that streaming sector, thinking that there is a lot more uh, costs to be endured by Netflix and others. But, uh, Netflix, Disney, kind of the big movers out here in just trying to uh, afford and uh, get through uh, back uh, do you think back
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. get back to wrap up the show for uh, the start of yet another week. Uh, as I said, kind of at the very beginning, we've gone from one buying climax to a selling climax to a buying climax to a selling climax to yet another buying climax. And uh, we're going to get uh, lower volatility here before we probably really start moving up significantly. Uh, generally, in these kinds of markets, uh, the best performing things are commodities so look at uh, crude, gold, that kind of stuff uh, as we go further. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is gonna, probably going to continue on, I think, through the end of the month. I, I mean, the lower volatility. We've probably gotten 90% uh, of what a lot of people thought we were going to get already uh, to the upside. So now we're going to continue to just uh, move around. Options continue, as I said, the last three days, options continue to show that 4,600 was kind of a magic number uh, that the option market makers were looking at. Um, we'll see if that changes in the next couple of days. But uh, uh, that's kind of it. You're looking at uh, what I think is, a, you know, you, you, you want to buy on the, on the despair and sell on the, uh, on the manic part of the market. And that's what everybody's doing. Uh, we've got Manic here over the last hour or so. Got over 4,600 on the S&P cash. Now they're going to be some sellers. Uh, but uh, 
eventually it's going to work itself out. And I don't think, I've got a question, I don't think uh, that we're going to see uh, another 200 points down before Christmas. I'm going to just say that this uh, probably um, is going to be uh, just kind of floating around a little bit. Um, but uh, that's it. Anyway, uh, we'll go back to uh, the market already in progress. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. I was going to get the volumes. Okay. Uh, sell when you can. Also, as I said, on Friday, cover when you can. Don't get greedy in this market. Even uh, markets only go down about three fourths of the time, even a lot. I mean, a quarter of the time, even if it's a lot more. A quarter. 